channel. In this video, I will teach you how to solder in a circuit that actually using this soldering iron. So let's get started. Basically, our soldering iron are on the market. He ran it far with gases like beauty, but usually we use electric power soldering irons. So that's the best for all needs and for uh, professional appliances. So basically, we have uh, quite some different surfaces just like this is a PCB that we have custom holes available and I just custom made this but we had to make holes and solder it's a little bit complicated because uh, we have only a small portion of area is uh, filled with copper as other things are not copper or any other metal so it's not supported for soldering but it's quite good actually it's used one this PCB is used but anyway uh, we can solder easily on this thing if you know every small thing of soldering and actually we have three steps that's the first step putting the component into that hole then the second step applying flex on that and finally the soldering so before you get started you have to remember a couple of things that's the tip of the soldering hand so basically you have to buy a soldering hand first and at least you have to buy a 25 volt soldering iron and we could get different kind of tips on market for solar again. So this one is to sharpen. Basically, it's not useful for all occasions. So a better one is always a medium flat one or a medium flat tip, just like this one. And the next thing you have to buy is sponge that actually used to clean the tip of the solar eye. So our first target is to solder in this dotted PCB actually they used one as I all told you well we have to solder this properly so first put down the component in the PCB I used to hear LED bulb then bend the leads of the component then the next stage is just apply the soldering paste or flex it's known as flex on the leads using a brush then take out your soldering iron then heat the leads or just melt the flux and finally solder. And that's all. And soldering in a custom made PCB is not really different. I just put a diode in the holes then you can apply more flex on the leads. Try to add more flex on the leads and you can solder in the same way. Then the next soldering is wire to wire soldering. Actually this wire is quite huge in size. So basically we want to apply more lead on that. So the first thing we can just remove the lamination of the wire. So we can tie up both ends. Then the next thing is just apply the flex and finally we can solder. So in this case we have to apply more lead in between wires. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wish you can subscribe my channel and follow me on all other social medias. See you next time. Bye.